We are assembled here in the presence of God and these friends and family to join Josh Sharp and Annalyn Beast to share their joy and celebrate their love and bonds of holy matrimony. Today they will receive God's greatest gift, another person to share with, grow with, change with, be joyful with. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> and to stand with as one when trials and tribulations enter their lives. Emily, today is the day and the day that we've thought about for the last 14 months. It's finally here and you have brought so much joy into my life since I met you. You have taught me how to fully love without reserve and to continue to love me when I fall short. You have been my best friend, my mentor, and even my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love that I cherish. You have made me a better person due to your grace, confidence, patience, loving nature, all of which are things that I admire about you. I know and many can confirm that it is a hard feat to love me, but thank you for loving me as I am. I have no personality. <laughs> So don't mess this up, otherwise you're gonna have Stop. you're gonna have a terrible, lonely life if you mess this up. I hope you know that. Hey, hey. The worst person I know. Hey, I get it daily, so it's all right. Josh, I stand here today and say that I knew from the moment we met that I knew I would marry you, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I was fresh out of high school, not at all interested in dating. I quickly learned that you wouldn't take no for an answer, and you intentionally pursued me. And that stubbornness is what led us to today. Over the last five years, we've faced many obstacles, and things haven't always gone as planned. You guys ready? All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Don't cry, it's okay. I'm not ready yet. I love this. This was perfect. But God had used that to guide us and to where He wanted us to be, and in His time. And I would do it a million times over if it meant being with you. I know we never agree on when our first day actually was, but I'll never forget the feelings I had after that date. Those feelings have grown into something I never want to live without. I'm truly blessed to be able to enter this journey before God with you not as individual lives, but together as one. Love isn't always easy, but it's so worth it. And I will fight for what we have every day for the rest of my life. You've always been my better half, but today we become whole. Your burdens are my burdens and your happiness is mine. I hope you never go a day in this life ever doubting the love and faithfulness that I have for you. Ma'am, I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. So from this moment, I not only take you as my wife, but as a continuation of my best friend. I've had the privilege to honor, support, and encourage you through this life together when our path becomes difficult. I know that I will be fine because I am with you. I get to stand up with you, uplift you as you will me, with one promise for myself to work on the continued growth of our love and to always make you a priority in my life. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I'll do. With all of my heart for all of my life belongs to you and with it, I will always love you. It's a privilege and honor to become your wife, and I can't wait to spend forever with you. And now that Josh and Emmeline have given themselves to each other by solemn vows. I do. <laughs> I will. I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Josh, you may kiss your bride. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Sharp. Love is patient. Love is kind.
does not envy, it does not boast, it's not proud, it's not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always persevere. Love never fails. A warm welcome to our bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Joshua Sharp. We love each and every one of y'all. Thank you guys for being here. It really means a lot to us. Y'all have made this happen, so we thank you all very much for being here and being part of this with us. I've had the honor and privilege of growing up with Josh. We've been best friends since elementary school and have stayed that way still to this day. Because of that, I've been fortunate enough to be around since the beginning of Josh and Emlyn's relationship. Everyone here knows that Emlyn and Josh are a match made in heaven. They complement each other in a way that can only be attributed to the one who is divine. Emlyn's friendship and relationship to all around her is, in a way, a peaceful home. She is always encouraging, never angry, and a comfort to all. When I think of Josh, I do think of a leader. He is confident in every craft in his life. Many could argue too confident sometimes, as he is also the cockiest person I know. But nonetheless, assertive and strong. I've been able to watch them grow. And more importantly, I've witnessed Emlyn do something that I never really thought was possible. And that's turned Josh into a decent human being, kind of. But the biggest thing of all that both Josh and Imlan have in common is their work ethic and drive. They're two of the most driven and diligent individuals you'll ever meet. It goes without saying that every success both of them have in their life is because they've earned it. If you're friends with Josh, you know that he really makes you work for it each and every day to earn that time. I did, I'm sorry. Tyler told me to. But seriously, once you get through all the bull crap, he really is a loyal friend and a great guy. She looks out for me in a way that no one ever could, and she truly has been the epitome of an older sister. And through her, I've also gained the older brother I always needed but never had. I've seen these two at their worst and at their best, and because of that, I know that together, they can handle whatever life throws at them. The most important thing I can say to the two of you is, Emlon, you already said I do, can't return. It's forever. I'm so glad that they have been the greatest example to me of patience, kindness, and hard work and responsibility that I could ever ask for. I can't promise what life will bring, but I can promise you two are strong enough and love each other enough to make it through whatever comes your way. And I'm glad I'll be there to be able to watch and support you every step of the way. So if everyone will raise their glass, let's toast the happy couple. So here's to the marriage of a great leader and a peaceful spirit and to the people that they are. Love you guys. Marriage is not a noun, it's a verb. It isn't something you get, it's the way you love your partner every day.